Noise on a TV. Some see snow, while others look deeper into their set and see ants having a snowball fight. Either way, a feeling of frustration follows shortly after Noise's appearance. Why? What did Noise ever do to you? Countless hours of adjusting rabbit ears or days waiting for the cable guy. Funny how such an upsetting visual can become a desired look. Whether you're creating this for technical purposes or just because it looks cool, this is the tutorial for you. Noise is a key element for indicating poor television reception. The good news here is that noise is easy to create in Final Cut. To start off, go to the viewer and click on the Generator pop-up menu. Scroll the mouse down to Render. Notice that we have noise here twice. The bottom one has color while the top is black and white. Select the Higher Noise option in the submenu, and there it is. Click and hold the mouse button on the clip in the viewer and drag it onto the beginning of the timeline. Double click on noise and then choose effects, video filters, stylize, and then vignette. As you can see, we're getting somewhere. Click on the filters tab and change the blur amount to zero. Increase the size to um, 0.95. <laughs> Looks good. Now that we have some good looking noise, let's animate it. This step will not only add a little spice to the noise, but it will also make it appear as if the TV signal is getting better, so the real image can be seen clearly. Currently, we have a lot more noise than we need, so right click on the clip and select Duration from the pop-up menu. Type 10 and then click on OK, or hit the return key twice. Zoom in close so we can get a good look. Select the blade tool and cut the last five frames so they are independent from the clip. Click on our first newly created independent frame so it becomes highlighted. Select the crop tool and use it to create a bar on the bottom of the screen, like so. I want another bar so hold down the Option and Shift keys. Then drag the mouse up to the second track and let go of the mouse button. While the new clip is still selected, move our crop section up higher so we can create a skinnier bar up above the other bar. Select our second independent frame and use the crop tool to get your bar like this. Select the third frame and go to Cropping Town, like so. It will look almost like the last one, but smaller. Select the fourth one and create a really skinny bar. This will create a nice variation. One more bar to go. This one will be the biggest of the five frames. That looks like it will create a nice flutter. Make sure the clip overlays control is selected. Lower the last frame's opacity to around 56. Lower the fourth frame's opacity to 73. And finally, Lower the third frame's opacity to 82. Select all of your clips and move them up one track. Place the cow.jpg or your desired clip below the animating noise. Let's make the clip a little longer by right clicking on the clip and selecting duration from the pop up menu. Type 123 and then click on OK. Place the Bad TV Audio 1.AIFF clip in the timeline so it lines up with the beginning of the noise clip. Your animation should look like this. Next, we're going to animate a TV roll. This is where the video appears to be rolling out of the TV set due to a weak signal. And you'll notice that whenever this happens on a television set in the movies, the actor will hit the TV and try to get the signal back. Anyways, use the blade tool to cut the cow.jpg 18 frames into the clip. Then move the playhead 10 more frames and make another cut. For the purpose of this video, we'll call the clip the mid clip. Therefore, double click on the mid clip and then fly your mouse up to Effects, Video Filters, Stylize, and then Bad TV. 
Check that out. One wigged out signal. Get the playhead to the start of the mid section. Click on the Filters tab in the viewer. Change the waviness to 2. A matter of fact, type in 1 for the roll. Hit the Tab key and type in 0.13 for the static. Hit the Tab key, then type 1. You guessed it. Hit the Tab key and type in 0. Leave the scan line brightness the same. Make the scan line thickness 0 and the distance 1. Now create a keyframe for all of our options. Let's see how fast I can click. Smokin! All right. Hit the Shift and O keys. Move the roll to 100 so we end back up where we started. As for the rest of the options, create some more keyframes. Now this makes for some good TV. Hmm, not really. But hey, we're ready to go to the middle of the midsection. Just hit the left arrow key five times. Move the waviness slider to 23. Make the roll 46. Type in 0.81 for the static. Type in 0 for the color sync. Negative 29 for the saturate option. 5 for the scan line thickness. And we're in business. Almost. Let's add a finishing touch. Select our last four noise frames. Hold down the option and shift keys. Drag the duplicates over to the mid clip. Land them two frames into the mid clip. Drop the opacity lower on every frame. We're doing this so the noise will be more subtle. Place the Bad TV Audio 2.AIFF clip in the timeline so it lines up with the mid clip. Our animation should look like this. All right, let's put an end to this madness. When some TVs are turned off, it does not immediately turn to black, but instead has a flash of light as the image stops projecting. This section shows you how to replicate that effect. Using the blade tool, separate the last frame of the cow.jpg. Double click on the newly created single frame. Then choose Effects. Video Filters, Matte, and then Mass Shape. In the viewer, click on the Filter tab and make the horizontal scale higher than 100. Change the vertical scale to 62. Choose Effects from the main menu. Move the mouse to Video Filters, Matte, and then Mask Feather. In the viewer, change the soft level to 17. Click on the Video tab, select the Generator pop-up menu, Find Matte, and then Color. In the top of the viewer, click on the Controls tab, and then click on the gray box. Change the color to white and hit OK. Place the color matte next to the newly created single frame. Right-click on the color matte and select Duration from the pop-up menu. Type 2 and then click on OK. Duplicate the clip with the option and shift keys. Place it above the original, right click on it and choose Clip Enable so the mat is not visible. In the timeline, place your playhead at the beginning of the color mat. Double click on the color mat and then click on the keyframe button in the canvas. Then click on the Motion tab in the Viewer. Click on the Disclosure Triangle next to the word Crop. Change the Crop settings so that the left is 5, the right is 5, the top is 49, and the bottom is 49. This will create a bar. Move to the next frame by hitting the right arrow key. Change the Crop settings to 36 for the left, and 36 for the right. Type in 49.5 for the top, and then hit the Tab key. Type in 49.5 for the bottom. OK, time to make our top color mat visible again. Right click on it and choose Clip Enable. 
Double click on the new color mat and select the filters tab. Choose effects, video filters, matte, and mask shape. In the viewer, change the shape to an oval. Set the horizontal scale to 23 and the vertical scale to 11. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the color mat. Click on the horizontal and vertical scale keyframe buttons. Move to the next frame by hitting the right arrow key. Change the horizontal scale to 11 and the vertical scale to 6. And for the final touch, place the Bad TV Audio 3.AIFF under the single frame and the two color mats at the end of the project. Your final piece should look like this. By following these simple steps, you can create the effect of a poor television reception. Used sparingly, this effect can really enhance your video projects.